Prior to Partners for Breakfast in the Classroom grant, we had daily participation of around 25 to 35%. And post grant, now that we have Breakfast in the Classroom up and running K-8, uh, daily is about 70 to 80% breakfast participation. We were able to do those nice covered little trays for the hot breakfast items. So I think it just made, it made breakfast fun. The kids got to pick exactly what they wanted. And I think choice is really important. I mean, even little tiny kindergarten and first graders want to make choice of what they're eating for breakfast. It was a really good opportunity to be able to bring something important to the kids so that they would be able to have breakfast every day and that we could increase that participation with them. So in the morning, our breakfast managers get to their buildings bright and early around 5.30 in the morning and they start getting everything all geared up to start breakfast production. A little before six o'clock is when they start throwing everything in the oven, getting it ready. It's been prepped from the day before to make their job as seamless and easy as possible in the morning. Uh, once the food has been prepared and cooked and starts coming out, they begin the process of loading it into the compartment containers that go into the wrap machine. So we decided on that piece of equipment because the elementary kitchens are very small and the staffing and equipment is limited. So it was how do we centralize that in either the middle school or the high school, which have larger kitchens and larger staff, so that we can get this food out to the kids. I looked into it and thought it was the most efficient way because then we could quickly get hot breakfast wrapped so that we could keep the food at the right temperature and get it to the kids and keep the quality of the food. After that, and everything's been portioned out correctly, then there's a designated runner, and their responsibility is to take the appropriate amount of hot breakfast to each of our hot Cambro carts that are then delivered to each of the um, satellited elementary and middle schools that serve breakfast in the classroom. Well, majority of our students qualify for free and reduced uh, breakfast and lunch. And so we were able to just provide this program for all our students. Students with disabilities, regular ed students, all the students had access and the ability to have breakfast in the classroom. But the key thing was the students were able to pick and choose what they wanted. That's what the benefit of this program is, is the choice that the students have each and every day. We are building menus that respond to the ever dynamic um, scrutinous and savvy consumer and that goes all the way down to our kindergarten students because they'll let you know if they like it or not um, and how they let you know is by participation and I think that's what aligned us so tightly with the partners for breakfast in the classroom with the main goal of creating access and connections that really does drive participation and allow students to do what we all our common goal is and that's to re receive the nourishment they need to be successful. The kids are so excited about the items. There are certain students that I can pick out and I know them in line and I'm like, hey, we have the Apple Bosco sticks today. And she gets so excited and she lights up. Yesterday she turned the corner and she's galloping down the hall with this giant smile on her face, giving them that power to make the selections. It's really cool to see. So there have been quite a few unexpected benefits from the Partners for Breakfast in the Classroom funding. Um, namely, they've really just allowed us to expand our food service operations within the district. Most recently, we've been able to implement a salad bar at the middle school, so that's allowed us to spend some additional funding to incorporate local produce and feature that and allow us to um, showcase that to our kids. And that line is out the door every single day, so the kids are loving it. With our previous breakfast routine, there were a lot of students that didn't even wait in the breakfast line. They'd come into the cafeteria, they realize it was too long, and they'd go right to class. Those are the students that are now waiting in line and are so excited about the items and so ready to get what they want. I definitely see the Breakfast in the Classroom program as a way for our teachers at the middle school to make better connections with our students. Teaching is all about relationships, and I think this program, the Breakfast in the Classroom program that we're running at the middle school, provides us that opportunity. You know, it is all about engaging a student and making them feel valued. The breakfast program is just as important as any lesson in math or English, and certainly is a lifelong skill that we are helping these students gain. Breakfast in the classroom provides equity for all students, regardless of who they are, and it provides a benefit for every student each and every day, knowing that they come to school, that a breakfast is there for them.